for the first time ever, I'm going to tell the story. This is why I stopped talking to my biological mother. 32 years old, my sister gets out of prison, and I'm the only one trying to help her. Where's she going to stay? What's she going to do? And my sister was still struggling with drugs and her body and use. And it was more than a 32-year-old boy could handle. Correct. And we needed to do an intervention to help Suwana. Because, again, this is not my daughter. Suwana's not my daughter. Right. She's my sister. Suwana has a real mama living. And so we met up all together. But my biological mother, she showed up with her new husband. So we're trying to do this intervention. And the way that it was going, it was going okay. So as this intervention ended, we all three hugged. Because mind you, we hadn't been around each other right. in years. When we started hugging, one of them said, this is so beautiful. This is the way family should be. This, this is the way y'all need to be doing. Y'all need to be. And, I, and then I said, hey, guys, this is not about us. This is about Suwana. After I said that, Deborah's new husband in the corner, he yells, what you need to do is call your mama sometime. I said, sir, I don't know who you are, but she's the mother. I'm the child. He says, yeah, but you call yourself a Christian, my boy. And it got heated. And my mother did something that crushed my heart. She grabbed his hand and said, come on, baby, let's go. Mm. And she walked, she walked out of the house on her two kids. Mm. And she stood by the side of this N-I-G-G-A. Nigga. I can't say it because somebody always says something when I say it. I will. They said, I walked out and followed them on the porch and I yelled at my mama, that's right, go ahead and walk out like you always do. And the fact that she took that man's hand and didn't, she did not say to him, baby, you stay over there. This is between me and my kids. Kids that I know I did not raise. Kids that I know I did not nurture. Kids that I know I did not protect. Kids that I know that I did not pro uh, pro provide for. Kids that I know that I did not defend. Kids that I did not love. Kids that did not have their mama. You stand over there and let me deal with my kids. She did not deal with her kids. She took that nigga man's side and walked out with him. I promised myself. Now, see, I couldn't protect myself as a little boy, but as a grown man, I will never be, be, be put in a position where you will ever be able to do me like that again. And so for 23 years, I have not seen, I did not see or speak to my biological mother.